What's up everybody, welcome to Miniverse TV. Today we're going to be building a DIY utility panel for our modular synthesizer. So on the side here we have two sets of passive attenuators, then we've got four sets of passive multiples, and then on the end here we have another one that has quarter inch cables on two of the four jacks. That way we could use it as like a quarter inch to 3.5 millimeter cable adapter. So my Euro rack system is already in a standard 19 inch rack. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just use one of these blank um, rack panels. Now you could still do the same thing if you wanna make it a Euro rack module, just like a standard module. You could totally do that as well. Um, you just wanna pick up some blank Euro rack panels. But I just figured since mine's already there, I'll just go ahead and use this. So we're gonna be using two of these quarter inch mono jacks. We're gonna use two of these 100K linear potentiometers for our attenuators. And there's the two knobs we're going to be using for it. And then we've got a bunch of these quarter inch, or excuse me, we've got a bunch of these 3.5 millimeter jacks that we're going to be using for our standard multiples. So I've got everything kind of marked out here the way I want it. So I'm going to go ahead and drill a bunch of holes. And this part's a bit time consuming. Uh, if you have a drill press, it'll go a lot easier, but I did it by hand, so it's a little sloppy, but not too bad. So next here, we're gonna go ahead and put all the components on the panel and tighten everything down. Okay, so now I've kind of got everything laid out the way I want it. Like I said, on the end here, we have these two attenuators on the top and bottom. Those are separate. So we've got an input, the knob that controls the amount, and then the output. Then we've got all these multiples in the middle, and then our cable adapter multiple on the very right side. So the first step here is to go ahead and connect all these grounds for each of the uh, sets of multiples. And this is pretty easy. Uh, what we did is just strip some bare wire and then uh, these 3.5 millimeter jacks, they have the ground, um, the tab comes out the side. So we just pointed them all at each other and then you can kind of connect them pretty easily that way. There's a look at what that looks like. And then we also grounded everything on our attenuator section as well. You can see the first leg there on the attenuators is the ground. And I'll go ahead and uh, link to the schematic for the uh, wiring on the attenuator section. Go ahead and check the more information section for that link. And here we're just going to go ahead and uh, again we've got some bare wire stripped and now we're going starting to wire up our multiples. So we're using a single piece of wire. We want to make sure it's long enough so that we can go to all of these tip connection points on the 3.5 millimeter mono jacks. And then once we've got that we're just going to go ahead and solder them all in the place. A little bit sloppy, but you get the idea. And again, we're just going to go ahead and solder all these connection points. And then lastly, we're wiring up our cable adapter slash multiple passive multiple the same way. And then we'll just go ahead and trim off the excess wire here. And then lastly, we're going to wire up our passive attenuators. Like I said, we have two different passive attenuators here that we're doing. There's a top one and a bottom one. So we've got an input, the knob that controls the amount, and then the output. Again, I'll link to the uh, schematic for this wiring.
but yeah, it's super simple. It's basically you've got an input, then you're wiring the input to one of the legs, and then you're wiring the output to one of the other legs. And here we go, we're all set. So now I've got it in my system here. We've got everything kind of laid out right in front of us. So I'm gonna do a real quick example here. We're gonna run our LFO into our passive attenuator. And I've got the amount turned all the way down right now. And then we're gonna go out of that into our control voltage modulation input for our VCO for frequency modulation. And then as we slowly turn up the attenuator here, you can hear the frequency being modulated more and more from the LFO. So yeah, passive attenuators are definitely nice to have. Uh, again, this utility module isn't necessarily meant to be the most exciting module in a system, of course, but definitely necessary. And it, uh, or definitely could be helpful at least depending on what you're trying to do. So yeah, I just wanted to share this kind of quick little DIY project with everybody. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it down in the comments. And uh, feel free to check out our website at midiverse.tv.blogspot.com. And also add us on Twitter at midiverse underscore TV. Thanks. Peace.